Osama uh, by uh, Obama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be talking about that and everything. Sure is a lot going on. So good to see you again, always. And uh, welcome, welcome very much to Conversations. Pleasure to welcome to Conversations a, a friend of myself and the world. That's Lenny Brenner. And he's a public intellectual of the highest order. He follows things political, cultural, and so forth. Uh, has written a great number of books, not the least of which is uh, The Lesser Evil, The Democratic Party. Uh, we're going to be talking about politics and other matters. And Lenny, always good to see you. Welcome. It's always good to be on the show. Okay, that's good. Mutual admiration. Flattery. Yeah, Mutual yeah. flattery. Flattery so. will get you everywhere. Yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, good to see you. We're going to want to talk. This is, uh, this is uh, the date. This is um, uh, uh, August 28th, the, day, the final day of the Democratic Convention out in Denver. Mr. Obama is going to be talking to uh, the world and so forth. But uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about the, uh, about the political scene as you see it now. We've done so many programs with you, we don't have to go over your whole illustrious, and it is an illustrious intellectual uh, life that he's led up till now. But uh, how are you seeing things politically now okay. on this uh, uh, August 28th? I think that this election is distinctive in a number of ways. Obviously, the fact that uh, a major political party is running a black candidate, black right. skin candidate, is obviously a significant uh, step. Yeah. But what is distinctive is how the entire scholarly, critical world is suspicious of him. The scholarly um, intelligence, yeah. Yes, okay. in, uh, of, of Obama. Right. Uh, the reason is that uh, all of a sudden, right after he won the nomination, you know, beat Hillary, uh, he announced things, among other things, that he was going to vote for a bill permitting a uh, uh, amnesty for the companies that uh, spied on Americans. He moved away from public funding of the election, and he began to push his faith-based uh, charities program. In other words, that the government of the United States should be funding faith-based uh, drug addiction uh, uh, clinics and uh, mm -hmm. things like that. Also about Israel is the, I mean, uh, Oh, and then, and then on that, what yeah, happened was, was that he appeared before APAC, American mm -hmm. uh, Israel Political Action Committee, and announced uh, that he was for uh, an undivided Jerusalem as mm -hmm. the capital of Israel. And mm -hmm. uh, within seconds, the entire world started yelling at mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you talking about? Uh, even uh, Bush says the status of Jerusalem is to be negotiated between the Palestinians and the Israelis. That's sort of a biggie. And it's interesting that among all the people at the Democratic Convention thus far, the one person we've not heard from is President Carter. And it could well be because President Carter has things to say along the lines of the rights of the All Palestinians. Right. Now, I, I, Big uh, issue. Okay. Uh, the, po the point is yeah. that uh, after he made his speech, he announced that it was a mistake on his part, you know, a slip of the tongue, et cetera, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Except that a Zionist scholar, mm -hmm. you, this is the distinctive thing, is that everybody is looking at him very critically mm -hmm. because of these twists and turns. Mm -hmm. and this, I, I, I'm writing an article called Mr. Change has become Mr. Changeling. Mm -hmm. You get it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And this guy said, uh, you know, uh, uh, Obama got up and said, oh, I, I was a slip of the tongue. Well, about Jerusalem. Yeah, mm -hmm. except that this Zionist scholar, what he did was he read, went back and read what he said to APAC, mm -hmm. and the, he says, the paragraph began, let me be clear. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is the undivided, should be the undivided capital. In Do other we words, have so ho ho oh yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. Tape. Excuse me. Okay. So, so whereupon the guy went further back, the scholar, yeah. the Zionist yeah. scholar, yeah. and I'm an anti Zionist yeah, scholar. Yeah, I know, you know, I know. All right. yeah. uh, and he discovered that Obama's been saying that since 2000. Okay. All right, and that he had just said the exact same thing to another Jewish group mm -hmm. about three months ago. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is the kind of thing that people don't like about him. Now, let me, let me, let me back up. Let uh, me ask one thing, if sure. I could. Uh, primary season's one thing. Once you got the nomination, you move to the center. That's the standard That's thing that everybody says, right? Except that, so no, no, except okay. that, that okay. he is 
running as, hey, I'm Mr. Change. Mm -hmm. I'm not the ordinary Washington politician that mm -hmm. wheels and deals and jives mm -hmm. and connives. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a, a pious Christian, mm -hmm. etc. You know, all that stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what's putting everybody's, putting the, the microscope on him. In uh -huh. other words, he's wheeling and dealings and jivings and connivings, okay? Didn't he try to now, talk now, hold on, Harold, 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 Harold okay, please, on. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, for example, in, in uh, July 2007, last year, yeah. okay, he had an article in Foreign Affairs magazine. Now, mm -hmm. that's the magazine mm -hmm. that you got to be like a Secretary of State or former yeah. ambassador, you know, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. I mean, you know, that's Consular who they are. Relations. Okay, all right, yeah, okay. And this is him. This is a quote from Obama. Mm -hmm. Roosevelt, Harry Truman, and John F. Kennedy managed both to protect the American people and to expand opportunity for the next generation. They ensured that America fought for the freedom sought by billions of people uh, uh, beyond our borders. Mm -hmm. Now that's our man a year ago, okay? There's only one little problem with that. Well, there's actually three <laughs> little problems with one that. One for each. Right? One for each, <laughs> yeah. okay? Mm. Franklin Roosevelt was the guy who put, in 1942, 144,000 innocent Japanese, Japanese mm. American citizens uh -huh. into concentration camps. Right. And to make it even more horrible, mm. he started, like when they grabbed them off the streets, the, the, guy, the Japanese in, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm they got stuffed into the stables at Santa Anita Racetrack. Mm -hmm. And then finally, when they started sending them to the concentration camps, they s pushed them into freight cars. Mm -hmm. Now, does that sound a little like that fellow over there in Germany? With what was his name? Something A? Yeah, Adol, yeah, give a, me a hint. A yeah, 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 all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this yeah, is his hero. A, this is moment, this is yeah. see he gave those three names uh -huh. as role models like what he was going to be as president. All Ro right? Well, okay. No, no, hold on, hold on a minute. Okay, but that's wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, Harold, Harold, uh, Harold, Harold. This this is for the public out there. Is okay. You're talking Roosevelt. Yeah. Now, now I'm talking Harry Truman. Okay. All right? Lay them uh, all three out, then we can talk. Yeah. About yeah. Them. Okay. Mm. Um, in 1940, now Harry, Harry Truman, of course, is famous for dropping the atom bomb twice on civilians, okay? Now, you can argue about whether he was a war criminal and he dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima, but there ain't too many supporters of the idea that you can drop an atom bomb twice on civilians, all right? And then the same Harry Truman, br they brought the head of the Nazi Wehrmacht, the army secret, you know, the spies in Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union, they brought him to Washington and they signed the man up to work for the government of the United States. And Werner was, Brown, Brown. Oh, well, I mean, you know, he, he's the most famous yeah. of the, the, the he, you know, you, you, first you bomb uh, London mm. and then you shoot for the moon. Mm. You know, you, know you, you, gotta, you gotta practice. Okay. Yes. Now, oh, wait a minute. That's, third. that's the third. John Kennedy. John Kennedy, all mm -hmm. right? Folks, you can go to the web right now, and you can get, are you ready for this? I don't know. I think the I'm sitting FBI down. The FBI secret report on Martin Luther King. Jack Cohen Kennedy, Cal Pro. Jack Kennedy. Mm -hmm found out that Martin Luther King was hanging out with an ex-leader of the Communist Party, a guy named Stanley Levison, all right? Mm. And they saw, and Bobby Kennedy wrote, authorized the spying, the wiretapping of Martin Luther King. Sure did. Okay, that's the greatest single violation of separation of church and state in American history. Used to enjoy talking and listening to the tapes. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. In the hotel room. They, they used to yeah. listen to uh, him mm. and and, and uh, Johnson, his uh, the guy that took over after him, uh, used to listen to the sex life. You know, mm. on the because you know on the on the tapes in the hotel rooms, mm. etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now understand. There's no dispute that Roosevelt sent innocent people to the concentration right. camps because the government of the United States has compensated those people yeah, for it. Yeah, they've apologized. Right? Yeah. yeah, and 
but with regards later, yeah. now you know as, as they say people get into fistfights over Truman mm -hmm. with regards to Kennedy they, uh, like I say you can get the the, the the entire tape of King on the internet mm -hmm. now from the FBI yeah okay yeah. but I just want to point out to guess who were the s among the speakers at the Democratic Convention? Bobby, uh, John Kennedy's daughter, mm -hmm. okay, and and Teddy Kennedy, all right. Yeah, now they're speech. there because of the of the Kennedy brothers, mm -hmm. who are models, role models for the Democratic Party. Right. Now let me tell you something, okay. 80% of the American people believe that John Kennedy was killed by a conspiracy. All right? They differ over which conspiracy. The right-wingers think he was killed by either the Soviet Union or Cuba, Cuba. and the liberals think he was either killed by Johnson, who took over yeah. from him, or the, the CIA. Said, yeah. All right. Now, and, and, and the young kids who, who weren't around at the time, they think the mafia did it. Yeah, right. but now, hold, hold, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold yeah, on. Brother, we're brother, talk about the brother, street. hold on a we minute. We were going to talk about Brother, the hold on a minute. All right, go okay? on. Go on. Now, get it out. The, the fact of the matter is that that means that uh, mo what percentage of the Democratic Party rank and file believe their own party killed their own president? Mm -hmm. I argue that. The, those Democrats, I, I would say most of them, who believe that he was killed by their own party, okay, are among the dumbest people in the dumbest party of all time. Maybe the Nazis were worse. Right? And, uh, and the thing we introduced you is the Democratic Party, the lesser evil. So right. that's the thing, lesser. So, so and also the thing is, wait a minute, you can't take uh, you, uh, you, you, the... the uh, Roosevelt also got the New Deal going. He got that. So there is a whole life that's being Excuse led. Excuse me. Can't no, I want to make the Go point. Ahead. You can't. You can't take the point of one thing about them and say that's characteristic of Let's their old Let's talk tribute. about the New Deal. Wait a minute. There's that. And then with Ken, with uh, Truman, there are extenuating circumstances. There were more people killed in the firebombing before the Hiroshima than that. So you can't just take one event and call, or on the case of the uh, John F. Kennedy, he did things, he had an inspiration. So a life is more than just one incident. That, that oh, they absolutely did. true. Okay, so that's the, the point. But, but you mentioned the New Deal. Uh -huh. The New Deal was absolutely segregated when you had the Tennessee War. There you go. Now you're taking one thing. He was. Truman integrated the Army for ah, the first time. Ah, I rise. Hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. Harry Truman, Harry Truman in 1940 addressed the Colored Democratic Association. Quote, I am not appealing for social equality for the Negro. The Negro himself knows better than that. And the highest type of Negro leader says, frankly, they prefer the company of their own race. Now, you want to know who integrated the United States Army? Are well, you ready for this? A guy by the name of Joe Stalin. Because what Truman realized in 1948, Paul Robeson, who was an, a world-famous singer and, and actor and pro-communist, black actor, yeah, pro-communist, right. got up and announced, no, blacks should not go into an army where they are segregated. Mm -hmm. And Harry realized something. He can't be fighting communism if the commies are out there agitating his own troops, his own black troops. Mm -hmm. So I say what? categorically what? that the credit for Harry signing the papers mm -hmm. authorizing mm -hmm. the integration of the military belongs to Wicked old Joe Stalin. No okay. Joe Stalin, no integration of the military. History is a nightmare from which we're attempting to awaken. It's a variegated quilt. The history, there's all kinds of interweaving links and everything. So what is it that you're trying all to right. say now about the current political now, situation okay. and the current human condition that has some pattern but it isn't just picking Good. on some one thing to make a point. All right. Now, this is literally... Ha yeah, saying? I do. And, okay. and, 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 and thank you for that question mm. because, as a matter of fact, my experience is mm -hmm. that, you know, I, I, we're, we're on in Manhattan, and mm. Manhattan is full of people on the streets peddling, uh, please sign this petition for Obama, give money for Obama, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Right. Right, from the Democratic uh, Senatorial Campaign Committee. The All big right? speeches All right. tonight. Now, I... I 
mm -hmm. yesterday mm -hmm. met a woman, I won't give her name out of, you know, so she doesn't have to bear this sin forever, you know, in public. Okay? We'll carry that yeah. cross. And I started mm -hmm. telling her mm -hmm. about these things. Hey, she, he, your man is praising these war criminals mm -hmm. and scoundrels, mm -hmm. okay? And she started, well, I know, I know, I know, but he's right. better than uh, uh, McCain. Uh, uh, um, McCain. McCain, mm -hmm. all right? So I said, look, I'll tell you something. Frankly, the difference between McCain and Obama is that McCain will kill at least a thousand innocent people, whereas Obama will kill at least 999. Okay. And she so immediately said, that may be true, but it's a better, you know, the lesser evil, you right. understand? Okay. Uh, now, I mean, remember, I wrote a book 20 years ago hmm. about these kind of people. Yeah, the now, exact now, title now, of the book is? Yeah, The Lesser Evil. No, the, the Democratic Party, The Lesser no, Evil. No, the title of the book is The Lesser Evil. Okay. It doesn't say Democratic no, Party. No, it says uh, it is a study of the Democratic Thank Party. Thank you. So you link the two. It and is it's the in the lesser, library. It book. is an evil. Yeah. And it is. Is there any political system in the world ever that is not evil? Is oh. there anything, or what would you uh, uh, say is possible? Are you idealistic? Where are you coming from in terms of the pattern, all the right, evolution of human affairs? Way. Let me put it this way. Uh, uh, They're all evil. Yeah. I, 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 close to that, at yeah, least. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Let, I, I would say this, I mean, as a, as a general principle. Mm -hmm. In uh, biology, we tend to think of evolution as going upward, you know, from yeah, primitive right. to more intelligent and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. In politics, it's the other way around. Okay, the, par the Democratic Party was founded by Thomas Jefferson mm -hmm. and James Madison, mm -hmm. two of the most sincere, committed, scholarly people in the world's mm -hmm. history, all right? And okay. it ended up, are you ready for this? You mentioned Jimmy Carter is not going to be there. or maybe He's not there. giving a speech or right, anything. But, yeah. but, but Jimmy Carter, Democrat Jimmy Carter, right. is the fellow that armed the Islamic fundamentalists in Afghanistan. Of course, he did it geopolitical against Stalin uh, or against now, Russia. Now don't yeah. tell me that. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison would have done that. Well, do you say then that we have a golden era, it was Thomas Jefferson and the people of the Constitutional Convention, everything's downhill from there, everything's going down, the uh, United States is particularly bad. Uh, what are well, you saying I'm not kidding. in no, terms I'm of picking little pieces right, of something all right, all right. to make a no, point no, let me for the whole? This way. What is what your I picture of the whole evolution yesterday. of what human affairs? What I told affairs? that gal yesterday yeah. okay, was that what she was really telling me mm -hmm. was that I, I asked her a couple of questions. What happens if you campaign for Obama and he loses? What have you gained? Okay, That's okay, number one. Right, uh -huh. And w are you telling me that the choice is between running, for, uh, helping Obama and he loses, and helping Obama and he wins yeah. and kills 999,000 uh, uh, zillion people? Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something, you know, I, I used to, my, m one of my passions is uh, proverbs from mm. all over the world. Okay, right? yeah. and one I learned from a gal pal, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. <coughs> from Missouri. Mm -hmm. It's not a one county struggle against the devil, children. It's a worldwide struggle against the devil. The all devil. Right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. You mentioned Obama at APEC. We mentioned mm. Obama at APEC. Yeah. <coughs> Obama went to Jerusalem, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, millions of Arabs, not just Palestinians, and m tens of millions of Palestinians said, it's hard to believe a guy with a Muslim father, uh -huh. and his name is Barack Hussein oh. Obama right. is, is going to be president of the United States, whoopee! Mm -hmm. And then he went to Jerusalem and you know, the old question is, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Yeah, right, right, right. Well, everybody knows the sound of no hands <laughs> clapping, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And at, now understand, the same man who insulted the Zionists by promising them an undivided capital of Jerusalem. Why is that insulting them? Oh, because they, they, they looked at him and they said, you, you said that to us, we all applauded, and then two seconds later, you said, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake? Well, wait, 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 you didn't get to that point about where he made the mistake. He said that I am for an undivided Jerusalem. Yeah, at APEC. 
Yes, yes. And then after that, yeah. when everybody denounced him for it, he uh. said, I was wrong. I made a mistake. I didn't mean that. Did he say that? Or he oh, was yeah. No, 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 and, no. And said what? And said what my real position is, is regarding it, it has reason. to be negotiated by the two uh, sides. Okay. So, the, so uh, maybe it was. Well, no, wait a minute, the brother. What are you, his defense lawyer? No, I'm just trying to get at patterns rather I'm than I'm trying to tell little, you little the pieces Zionist of something. Yeah. Scholar yeah. said he lied to us. He said it was a mistake, but it clearly wasn't a mistake. Mm. He's been saying the same thing over and over again yeah. to Zionists. He gets up and he tells them what he wants. Not the first politician to pander to a group. Well, what are you doing? Are you justifying his pandering on the grounds that other criminals have come before him? They all pander. Brother, that's what you're, you it's know, like saying brother, human. what you're saying mm. is, what you're saying is we should vote for him because he's just another criminal like all the others. They're all criminals. But he's saying, I'm not a criminal, I'm well, Mr. Chang. So he's a hypocritical criminal instead of being an out-and-out -out criminal. Uh, hey, and hey, brother, it. I'll put it to you this way. Yeah. Uh, who, is there anyone in the history of the political experience of uh, humankind that has not pandered to a particular yeah, group? Yeah, Eugene Victor Debs didn't okay, now, okay, now you're getting over into something that begins to have an ideological tinge, a socialist tinge, what is the answer? How are we to organize things? What are the possibilities? No, 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 brother, What's brother, going on in the brother, evolution? Brother, 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 brother. Look, I work with Dorothy Day, the famous Catholic beautiful. worker woman, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. All right? He, yeah. when, he Obama, when, he's, when his mouth is gone, mm -hmm. all right, he cites her as an example of the progressive people, mm -hmm. you know. Progressive, there's a term. Now you got a progressive term. Yeah, except, there's the idea of progressive. There is progression brother, away from... Brother, brother, brother. No, is things hey, getting hey, better? Hey, brother, mm -hmm. brother, look. Mm. When you are, uh, let me, I'll put it to you this way, wow. okay? Mm. When he got up and said that Roosevelt was one of his models, Okay. Right. I don't think he should go to uh, the White House. I think he should be locked up in Roosevelt's uh, mansion in Hyde Park for exactly the amount of time that the Japan that Roosevelt locked up the Japanese. Well, now, that the would fact be true. that he won't mm -hmm. shows there's no. That would be true of every politician that's ever well, been. Brother, because you could find brother, something. Are you telling me that mm -hmm. I should vote for a, a, a guy who I know is going to commit murder? I don't know murder? what the alternative I is. I ask you, are you telling the public that they should vote for someone that you expect will commit murder? They will. I ask they you, will. are you telling them to do it? Well, I'm not telling anyone to do anything. All right. I'm but trying to get at but where do we go? He, you uh, know, brother, what, what, what well, is Well, I'm going to vote mm -hmm. for what? Ralph. Nader. Okay, you're going to vote for Ralph Nader. Do you think he's crystal clear? No, I mean, he, he's no, pristine clear. No, 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 no. I didn't say. Okay, Eugene Harold, Dab. who is the guest? Mm. Shut up. Okay, all right. On that, okay, but yeah, I'm trying all right. to get at it. Yeah. Harold, look, mm. what I I told uh, uh, in some states, Nader is running as a candidate of the Peace and Freedom Party. Yeah. Right? Which uh, was the old Black Panther. What's happened with the group? Harold? Mm. Okay. Lenny, shut up, Harold. shut up, Lenny. All Let's right. talk. You're not letting me Harold, talk. Harold, I'm you. talking. You All talk right. and then finish. You and ask I'll me. Talk and we will. Nader, I told one of the leaders of the Peace and Freedom Party yeah. that they should call a conference after the election because mm -hmm. it's too late before the election, uh -huh. and invite Nader and uh, McKinney from the Green Party okay. and all of the guys who are, are running these little socialist party candidates, et yeah, cetera, et cetera, yeah. to get together to build a full-time permanent coalition against the Republicans and the Democrats okay. regardless of who wins. Okay, okay. okay. Because now what's That's happening yeah. is that the polls say that Obama is losing support among liberals, among people who are anti-war, because he's talking now about, well, maybe we'll get out of Iraq in, in about 2010, maybe, and we'll okay. maybe leave some guys on to train their murderers there. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I'm going to send more guys out to Afghanistan, where we're losing yeah. the real war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's only one little problem with that. Mm. 
Obama is a former cokehead, all mm -hmm. right? And he used to smoke pot. Oh, he admits it right on a t shirt. Yeah, you know, yeah, he was yeah. sinful, wicked old mm -hmm. guy, okay? Now, 92% of all the heroin in the world comes from Afghanistan. It do, yeah. I don't hear word one. Mm -hmm. I don't hear word one. Mm -hmm from the Messiah about what he's going to do about the drug problem in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The drug problem in Afghanistan, according to the New York Times, I mean, full page stuff, mm. it goes on because on the one hand, mm. the bad guys, the Taliban, are selling the, the dope, okay? And growing In it. conjunction with the good guys, the Karzai's government, mm -hmm. the American puppet government, is as crooked as a dog's hind leg. It now, you, now, brother, here is Obama. He went to Berlin to get up and make a speech about how the Europeans should also send soldiers to Afghanistan. Now, everybody talks about the thousands of people that saw him in Berlin. What they don't say, hundreds of thousands, hun oh, about seventy, a couple of hundred thousand. Yeah. What, what they don't say is they applauded everything in the speech except sending the troops, their troops, to Afghanistan, mm -hmm. because everybody but the American people, mm -hmm. okay, know that the Afghan government, the American puppet government that Obama's going to take over, is as crooked as a dog sign leg. Okay. So in other words, what if you vote for for uh, uh, Obama, yeah. you are voting for X number of dead, innocent people and no solution to nothing. Yeah, as compared to a few less, if you're a few more, now if I got to tell you something, man. Uh -huh. Look, Martin Luther King, and by the way, he's speaking tonight, Obama is speaking tonight because this is the anniversary of Martin Luther King's speech. Right. Oh, right. Right. Okay. Martin Luther King uh, decided to oppose John Kennedy and Johnson's war. Finally, okay? yeah, 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 yeah. You see, because the Democrats kept telling him, Martin, don't talk about the war because right. then you'll lose support for right. civil rights. And Martin did. said, if mm -hmm. I'm talking about civil rights, I got to talk about the war. Finally, Your war. Finally, finally, finally. All right, but look. Stokely I, was I, there a lot before he I, was. Oh, yeah, he sure was. Stokely was a good guy. All right, uh, just for the information, mm. both of us are friendly. I worked with Stokely Carmichael yeah. from 1985 to till his death. Army right? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but what I'm trying to get at, yeah. what I'm trying to get at is that if, all right, you talk Stokely, if Stokely were alive today, would he be voting for Obama? Well, look no. me dead in the eye. I would think Look me dead in the eye. Would he be voting for Obama? I would think not. All right. Well, that's the answer. Let okay. me put it this way. Right. When Stokely Carmichael came to my house mm -hmm. in, in Albany, California, mm -hmm. history with a capital H walked through my door. Yeah. All right? Uh -huh. And I am duty bound, duty bound to, to maintain that principle. How many people have we had of that stripe that have been like that? You mentioned Cynthia. You mentioned, uh, I don't know, uh, Nader and that. And, and the nexus around which there could be built something uh, that we would well, not have to be settling for the lesser of the two evils, let, let both of which way. are evil, me, the Democrat and Republican let, all right, Party, now this is very which important. is going to yeah. be occupying the White House yeah. after one, one, one murderer or another will right. be in the White right. House. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me put it this way. That was the exact same argument about vote for Kennedy, vote for, for uh, 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 the Democrats against uh, yeah. Nixon in 1968. Seriously, yes. Yeah, no, seriously, yes. Yeah. And in fact, Nixon won. Mm -hmm. And those of us who were genuinely opposed to the war yeah. went right on, and we built the biggest demonstration in American history on April 24th, 1971, in mm -hmm. Washington. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, 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 Attorney General John Mitchell looked out the window, and we know this now, yeah, yeah. Know, looked out the window and he said, it looks like the Russian Revolution. Yeah. Do you see a revolution like that coming to make things good? I'll, I'll tell you this. I, uh, I'm, not a, I'm some, writing an yeah, article and yeah, I'm saying yeah. I'm not a prophet. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not predicting who's going to win the election, what's going to happen with the economy, et cetera, et cetera. 
I'm only predicting as a historian uh -huh. who's going to lose the election. Yeah, and for sure. And it's everybody yeah. who has a nice word to say for murderer Obama is going to lose their reputation whether he wins or loses because all those motor mouths like Mayor, the, you know, the comedian on TV, Okay. Yeah, Bill Meyer. Yeah, Bill Meyer, right? Yeah. You know, he's out there, out there right now in Denver. And he mm. they asked him at a party, and he's a humorous and an intelligent yeah, he's guy. Funny guy. They asked him, why are you for Obama? Mm. He says, let's be honest, because <laughs> the, 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 the Obama people are a little better than the McCain people. They're right? the lesser evil. In other words, what we're talking about, mm -hmm. the, uh, let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell people that the best argument against the idea that we can ever have democracy and secularism Real democracy, yeah. in the Middle East mm -hmm. is or the yeah. failure mm -hmm. of democracy in America. Couldn't agree with you more. Now, in Why? fact, I'll tell you, well, hold on a minute. Okay. Here's, the, here's the whole game, mm -hmm. all right? I, I wrote, I edited a book of Jefferson and Madison yeah, on separation great, church great and state. All right. mm -hmm. Among other things that Madison said, mm -hmm. I mean, 200 years ago, Yeah. If you have an election with ignorant people, that is the prelude to either a tragedy or a farce or both. Mencken could put his two okay. cents worth. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Now, now I'll tell you what's happening. Okay, and this is what makes this time very unique. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'd like that to come. Yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. I said before. Obama is losing support among liberals. Even the New York Times, when he made his turn on religion, they had an editorial saying, you, you screwed up on A, B, C, D, and what the hell is going on, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. Now, they'll, they'll, t they'll tell us to vote for Obama, you know, yeah. if he deflowered underage, yeah. unconsenting, same-sex sheep. <laughs> You know? Sheep, yeah. sheep, yeah. Oh, yeah. lambs, let, goats, let's, yeah, lamb. yeah, goats. Yeah, all right. Yeah. They yeah. tell us to vote yeah, for him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's a sign of the times because you see, here's Obama's story. He comes from an atheist <coughs> family. His mother, as he puts it, was secular, meaning no no religion, mm -hmm. and his father was an outright atheist. Mm -hmm. But he, he really didn't hang around. His father left home when he was two years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm not blaming the father on him, all right, or the mother. Okay. He decided when he got out to Chicago and he was, and he was doing uh, organizing work with a whole bunch of churches that he stood out like a freak as, as long as he was a, a black with a white mother and an atheist. Everybody was looking at him like, who are you, guy? Mm -hmm. So he suddenly decided he was a Christian because that's what you believe in, don't you, stupid? In other words, the name of the game in modern American politics is called demagoguery. Insta y y you can approach an election in two ways. You can either try to educate the public. I have something to say that you disagree with, but I'm going to try and convince you of it. Mm. Like, let's free the slaves. Well, that took or, a long time, yeah. Or you can let the public convince you. You believe in Jesus? Guess what? The Democratic Party, remember Howard Dean, the chairman of the sure. Democratic Party? In 2004, someone asked him, what's your favorite New Testament chapter? Jonah. Mm -hmm. and everybody, Jonah, everybody knows Jonah's in the Old Testament. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, he learned. Even mm -hmm. Howard Dean has something, a, a tiny bit of brain. He now is pushing Jesus in the Democratic Party. They have, the Democratic Party has taken Leah Doherty, whose father is a, a big uh, uh, preacher, black preacher in uh, Brooklyn, all right? Leah Doherty is now running the faith-based ca caucus, okay? And they're going out there campaigning in every religion in America. Leah Doherty talks in tongues, you okay? Sound like Bill Maher now, you All know, right? but anyway, now yeah. She talks, she talks in tongues. Now, wait a minute. It's so bad, this pandering to every religion in the sun. Michael Lerner, 
the, the, yeah. the rabbi. Right. Now, I'm not a fan of his, okay? But Michael went Good to man. this faith-based yeah. yeah. thing, and he came back and wrote a report, okay? He says, look, all the temple priests were there, but no prophets, he says, because what, what the story... Where are our prophets? Hold on a minute. I'm telling you what he said. Yeah. He said, because the reality is that we got told at this thing about every sin and crime of Bush and McCain. Nobody mentioned a word about the sins and crimes of the Democratic Party with everybody in the room knows goes on at this juncture in history who are the prophets who are the visionaries who are the leaders whether in the political realm or in the intellectual realm to which one can repair in order to get a sense of right action rather than all the wrong all action right. that's I'll going tell on you very and simply. compromise with friends tell you very who are our visionaries I'll where are they rather simply. than just a litany of all the all right. I'll tell you very hypocrisy simply. that is so evident on one level of reportage, uh -huh. I am impressed by the American media from right to left because they are looking at this guy. It's very rare in politics that everybody agrees on what's going on in politics. Right. But the funny thing is that you can be a right winger, you can be a left winger, rich, poor, black, white, whatever. You go to the zoo, you see everybody sees the same snake. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, what it's, is unique is that thing. this time mm -hmm. everybody in the journalistic world is seeing the same snake as Obama zigs and zags. When they say he's moving to the center, that means he's moving to the right. And what the left wing is resented and the right wing is said, he's pandering to us. So who? No, I asked what you a question. What is this? You don't want to address my question. You're, you know, you're saying that about Obama. He's trying to do something. He talks this thing, but he's another lying politician or a snake Crooked in the grass. Dog's lying and I asked you who, where, or let's say even not just the individuals, even not even politicians, but uh, intellectuals, ideas. What ideas are relevant? to what is required for us to have a better outcome in terms of the operation of Spaceship Earth that are important and are being overlooked. Where are the ideas? Go to ideas rather than demonizing the fault laws of everybody that is there. Where are the ideas? What is the, what, and particularly the, what's called progressive, when we talk of progression, where are the right ideas by which somebody can get a uh, lodestar right. by I, which we uh, can all right. operate? Now, now you shut up. Okay. Now you shut up. Yeah, okay. but then answer you, the question. Now you, You'll answer the question. Yes, but okay. you. Rather than demonizing somebody you else. You shut up. Okay. okay. But then you got talk to ask backwards because the reality is uh -huh. when, when I signed up contract for my first book, mm -hmm. my publisher told me, it was on Zionism and the Nazis, my publisher yeah. told me, you shut up. Okay. My publisher told me, Lenny, you're about to write the most controversial book imaginable. Therefore, there can be no mistakes because your enemies will look with a magnifying glass for, and they'll take the smallest mistake and blow it up. Yeah. So you got to give me a photostatic copy of every quote in the book or it don't go in the book mm -hmm. and the book don't get published. Right? Zionism in the shut age up. of the I'm not going to shut up, up that way. I'm not going to shut up shut unless you answer. I am answering. Well, then answer it. Shut directly. up. Well, I will, but answer. I will as long as you start answering something along the ideas of motor where. mouth. Okay, go on. Okay. Go on, talk. The, answer the um, question. I answered it before I told you. The scholars and the journalists. That's were, where we go. Shut up. Okay. How dare you? Shut up. Okay, well, go on. I answered the question. The scholars and the journalists are, you shut up. I'm not I'm shut impressing, up. I'm impressed by the fact that the range of serious scholars uh -huh. from the Zionist who wrote the article on his APAC speech in The Sun, which is a right-wing Zionist uh -huh. paper, to me, to, I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. The, the woman... A yeah. woman wrote oh, yeah. an article for the New Yorker. Uh -huh. Everybody talked about the cartoon on the front page of the New Yorker. Yeah. Okay? Mm. That article was all about how Obama wheeled and dealed in the Chicago Democratic Party. Now, please mm. understand something. Right. When us 
historians, American historians meet, mm -hmm. and we argue over, get into fistfights, yeah. over which is the most corrupt state in America, okay? The Olympics. Yeah. The Olympics yeah. of corruption, yeah. right. It's either New Jersey mm -hmm. or Louisiana or Illinois, mm -hmm. all right, Chicago, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, we got ourselves a, a presidential candidate who bought the land around his house from a guy named Tony Resco, who was just found guilty of bribe given, mm -hmm. or was it bribe taken? No, mm -hmm. bribe given. He's mm -hmm. a bribe giver, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And Obama has apologized for buying the, ha the land from a crook. Mm -hmm. I was boneheaded. That's a quote. So I'm, I take Obama for change? I believe in Obama. Well, I believe that Obama has a bone head. Huh? Well, he said it, not me. Well, then I heard That's an answer. That's a quote. I heard an answer in a sense <laughs> that the investigative journalists are doing such a good job is to be a celebrated their contribution to showing the chicanery of our political leaders, including Obama. In I heard right. that. Yes. I didn't ask for that. I asked for where are the legitimate voices of vision for what uh, the way society is going to be organized, rather than the investigative showing of how crooked right. the current is. We know that. Where are the relative voices in terms of a platform for the human condition that are relevant? Is it Karl Marx? Is it Marxism? Is it where are the ideas that make sense in terms of these people that are going to get together are going to present an alternative? What are the basic flaws that exist at the level Good. of ideas? Hey, we got a short show. Shall I know, but talk? get to the point is what I'm saying. Yeah, if you, if you shut up, I will well, get to the I point. Well, I will. Point, I point it to you. Tell me, where are the right ideas? What's hanging us up? What's the problem? Shut How are up. we going to get on? Well, I have to get it through to you. You got you it. Shut up. Like, talk to the point. The fact of the matter is that, as the Bible says, mm -hmm. it's precept by precept, little by little. What mm -hmm. is beginning to happen is okay. that Obama's wheeling and dealing and jiving and conniving mm -hmm. is opening up eyes. Okay. So the result is mm -hmm. that people are slowly learning. Mm -hmm. And what I'm proposing yeah. as a strategy mm -hmm. is, hey guys, all of us that are going to learn, some of you are going to vote for McKinney, some of you are going to vote for Nader, some of you aren't going to vote at all, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. All right, catch your breath, and right after the election, let's have a conference and let's start building something based on real principles rather than pandering to the public. What Obama's Beautiful. got, Beautiful. what Bam Obama is good at is what I call rabble babble. Mm -hmm. In other words, somebody figured out a long time ago, the rich and the powerful can't run modern society without some support from the rank and file yeah. below them. Right. It just can't be done. They, right, 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 right. All right. So they got to have some kind of common sound. Right. All right. Yeah, I agree so with that. So his common sound yeah. is... We believe in God. Now, what would the common sound be of that group, consenting and all that to get together? What are the elements, the ideas? All right, okay. There's nothing to prevent hey. us from using ideas. What are the things that are the problem? I mean, what in an hour or so, you'll thing. shut up and I'll answer. Well, you Shut can't. up. All right. Okay. I'll shut up and I listen to wisdom. I was talking to a friend of mine who's a very active Catholic anti-war figure yesterday, yeah. last night, and basically... What has to happen is that all the people, like the Jesuits in America, the Jesuits in America are outraged at the torture going on in, in Cuba by the American government, etc. Right. Now, what I'm proposing is all the folks that are genuinely opposed to the wars, okay, we get together and we build, and it ain't going to be no messiah and no leader, because understand something. When I, I, the, the difference between the average serious intellectual, Christian intellectual who's concerned about the war and the atheist intellectual who's concerned about the war is yeah. that neither of them quite knows what to do about the war. Okay, thank you. All right? You. Yeah. Okay, that is the reality. Yeah, yeah, In yeah. other words, let, let yeah. me put it this way. There's an old phrase that Marx used, but I don't think it was yeah. original to him. Oh. 
a mountain only stands out because of the flatness of the surrounding ground. Okay. In other words, yeah. that the crooks and murderers get away with it in, in Democratic and Republican politics mm -hmm. because the rest of us who aren't crooks and aren't murderers mm -hmm. don't have our act together. Thank you. That's a very all interesting right. concept, all right. an right. idea. I, Those um, ideas are yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. In, in other words, mm -hmm. I, 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 I mm -hmm. hate to be a pessimist, but, yeah. you know, the, the I, 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 modesty, I, I, false modesty is a sin, you know, <laughs> all right? So, so I call myself... Never personal, accuse Lenny of false, false modesty. False modesty yeah. is a sin, so mm. I, I occasionally call myself the Shakespeare, the second Elizabethan era, you I know? I see, okay, all right. All right. But yeah. The, the Lenny Brenner of yeah. the first Elizabethan era yes. okay, said, all the world's a stage and we're the petty players on it, uh -huh. all right? Now, the political world, we are the petty players on the political stage, and the question is, can those of us who are not trying to get an election and get money from convicts uh -huh. like yeah. Resco, right. okay, uh, uh, yeah, or right. get money. No, even. Yeah, well, Maybe. Uh, hey, 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 you, you got to understand. Yeah. Uh, again, to the credit, you know, uh, leftists have a tendency to yell about the wicked media, the capital, yeah. the wicked capitalist media. Mm -hmm. I rise to the defense of the New York Times. Mm. They are publishing article after article on where Obama and McCain are getting their money from. Okay. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. uh, the, most of it. The biggest source of money mm -hmm. from for, to Obama comes from the Upper East Side of New York, the rich. Mm. Isn't he getting a lot from the Internet? Yeah, he is, but yeah. he's still getting a huge amounts of money. And he claims not to have any PAC money at all? Hey, he stopped. The, you mm. know, it, look, you've got to understand these. I, when I said they're crooked as a dog's mm. on leg, okay, mm -hmm. they are surrounded on all four sides, both of these guys. Mm. By big with, money. By big money yeah. and lobbyists. Mm -hmm. And if you catch them, Oh, I was boneheaded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's their line, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, let me put it this way. Mr. Change is Mr. Same Old, Same Old, yeah. all right? But what is Mr. Same Old, Same Old, all right? Look, when I was a kid, the Democratic Party here in New York was a wholly owned subsidiary of the mafia, without exaggeration. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had a congressional investigation mm -hmm. and guys from the mafia were taking the Fifth Amendment on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, I refused to testify mm -hmm. underground, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. okay? Well, the Democratic Party is not run by the mafia anymore mm -hmm. in New York, no. But we have, what's his name, the governor who... Uh, Patterson? No, the guy who quit. Uh, uh, Spivy? Uh, Spitzer. Spitzer, Elliot okay. Spitzer, yeah. Spitzer quit because he was accused, as attorney general, he had been chasing people for using whores in their mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. occupations, and he had to quit when it got caught out that he was using whores. Mm -hmm. So Governor Patterson took over, all right, mm -hmm. the, the new black, blind mm -hmm. governor, yeah, uh -huh. and the... The first thing he had to announce to prevent a scandal from happening Did was, I used to bring my gals over to the hotel on 96. Yeah, but you're slipping back <laughs> into that again and not addressing the question, what are the, let's take it out of the realm of people or personalities, ideas. All right. Understanding the evolution of, we have I'll, 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 I'll Lenny, let me make a point. We now have, we're going to play a program with, um, Michio Kaku, before you heard, we played it yesterday, he was with Teller. They developed the bombs. He said on the program, after 200,000 years of a human condition on this planet and so forth, we now have weapon systems that are now species lethal. We are not in the same ball game that we've been. We've been gestating. So it's a time of existential challenge. We can wipe out the human species yes. with the weapons. Yeah. Haven't been able to do it in the Second yeah. World War. There's something new. What I'm asking about, what is the new, what are the new ideas or understandings that are relevant, let's say, to a better outcome than wiping out the human species, what it is very, very clearly simple, possible Harold. to go, rather than... Harold, Harold, oh, you on. shut up. Well, okay. I'm trying to Harold. get something relevant. Harold, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. if you recall, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, he saw the Jews dancing around the golden calf, yeah, and he right. broke the tablets, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And what we call the Ten Commandments are the second tablets, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Well, in the first, now, of course, the archaeologists have dug up the first tablets, mm -hmm. and it turns out there were 11 commandments. I thought there were 15. Shut up! Okay. There, uh, there were 11 commandments, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And the first one was, 
thou shalt never vote for thy jailer or the jailer of other innocent people. Okay. All right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, in other words, thou shalt not vote for Obama because he's only going to kill 999 innocent people. Now, that is the beginning and the end of political and moral wisdom that you don't I, what what shocks me and other scholars again I mean you know I, again I'm impressed yeah. that for a change my criti criticism of these guys is accepted everybody's talking the same way yeah. now what shocks me is how these people come up to you on the street and tell you about how vote for Obama because he's going to save all the people and the minute I, I raise some questions they go from idealism to cynicism in a Bounce. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. That seems to be going on. Yeah. Oh, among yeah. A lot of people, no, yeah. no. It's yeah. very disturbing, but mm -hmm. I'm not surprised because I, I learned a long time ago something about American kids when they come out of college. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they get a job with a company that's doing some good, they're good. Mm -hmm. If they get a job with some company that's doing evil, they're evil. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing how these people, and they all start out, oh, I'm going to do good, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to be a blah, blah, I'm going to be a lawyer, etc. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Obama went to, Cal to Chicago, he was going to help the poor, like, like Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. All right? There have been some people who have helped. Oh, hey, 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 I, I, I have met honest lawyers, uh -huh. you know. And good people. It's not I have grim. met honest lawyers. Yeah. I met the law Charles Gary was my lawyer. He, mm. went, he was a good up, one, right? He yeah. was a good one. He yeah. ended up as a lawyer for Jim Jones and oh. Jones. Oh, well, well, there you Can go. You met, I, mean, I, I literally, he was Talk my lawyer. Cults, he was uh, my lawyer, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Okay. But look, I, I told you before that I collect proverbs from all over the world. Yeah. All right? And some I'm still looking for. Mm. Like one is called honest as a democratic politician. <laughs> right? yeah. And the other one yeah. is honest as a liar. Yeah. Somehow or another, if you find them, hey, anybody that finds them, them you send them to me. You know. All right, look, I'm telling you yeah. literally, uh -huh. okay, I said before, I learned from a gal pal. It's not a one-county struggle against the devil. It's a worldwide struggle against the devil. When you vote in this election, I want you to represent the interests of the people of Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestine, and every other place in the world, not just whether or not a candidate is for gay marriage in New York or mm. something like that. It's not a one-county struggle mm. against the devil. If you cannot go before an audience in Jerusalem of Jews, of Arabs, of whatever, if you cannot go to an audience of women in Saudi Arabia and say, I voted for in your interest, then you didn't vote in your interest. It's hard to because, get now, wait a minute, brother. When you are voting for a candidate who you think is going to kill 999 innocent people, mm -hmm. guess what also going to ca happen? 99 stupid American soldiers are going to be killed by that same guy. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared to talk to the Americans out there and say, I want women, mothers out there, fathers out there, I want you to vote for a candidate who is going to kill a few of your sons and daughters, killing other people's sons and daughters. But hey, hey, only 999, never mind the thousand. So one of the principles would be let's do away with war. That's an idea. No, I mean, let's or do away with. Be le let's get to talking the about causes of war or the ideas. Well, look, Kane look, said look. it was ideas that are the problem. We have the wrong ideas. We don't have the right ideas. We don't. It's the intellectuals who are falling down on the job. Yeah. Not providing intellectual you got understanding it. of the condition in you which got we it. are. I, I forgive. It's us. Or I, the intellectuals, yes. I, right. I forgive the average. Uneducated American. Yeah, they're just okay because uh, they don't know their left. As the Bible, as Jonah says, Jonah, Jonah, 
Yeah. They know it. The people of Nineveh. They know it not. They're yeah. left from their right. <laughs> from their right. No, it's okay. not. No, right. it's not. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah. All right. It's the intellectuals. Who are falling down. The crackpot realists. Mm -hmm. All right. Particularly. Who, yeah, no. In other words, these people who are literally telling you on the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met this woman yesterday. Yeah. Talk, I mean, you know, I, mm. I, I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I, when I say I couldn't believe it, I, I, on the contrary, I absolutely mm -hmm. expected it. Mm -hmm. If you know, because I, 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 this goes on every time I talk to these but people. But I don't think it's just the crackpot. And it's an intellectual community, academic, ba -ba 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 -ba, the leaders, the intellectual leaders are not coming up with an alternative yeah. that is relevant because to what the future as requires. Say, as I say, right? look, let me put it to you this they way. They haven't come up yeah. with an alternative as to say, which the future yeah. requires. Uh, what How do we get to because it? Because as mad, well, we got what 30 has happened, seconds. All right, what has happened is fortunately the sociology is changing. Mm -hmm. As yeah. more educated yeah. people are coming in, right. I mean, thirty percent of all whites, seventeen percent yeah. of all blacks yeah. have bachelor's degrees. Uh -huh. They're the ones that are saying, "Obama and McCain, what are you talking about?" Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they got enough education, a little now critical thinking, to maybe. do a yeah. little critical thinking. Right, so now right. understand, yeah, it's only uh, maybe we'll be able to put together enough people to, like you say, save humanity from blowing itself up. Maybe, mm -hmm. but we will we will blow ourselves up if we knowingly vote for someone we expect to commit felony murder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And and the plain fact of the matter is, I was in prison for years. I knew murderers. Hey. You met some of your best friends in prison. Some of my best friends were, mur were murderers. No, all right. Murder. I prefer their company to a Democratic or Republican candidate for the President of the United States. Well, I think you make your position very well known. All right. At least you're saying I, I have yeah. a friend, Rick Hyland, who is yeah. now one of the leaders of the Peace and Freedom Party. Yeah. He was a convict mm -hmm. who became a prison warden. <laughs> oh, this is for real. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, trying to yeah. get him to write his story. Yeah, you All met right? some interesting people. All right. In but what I'm trying Who'd to say is... some of the Panthers or something? I, well, I, I was in jail with Huey Newton. Yeah, Huey Newton. <laughs> right, right, right. You right. No, your no. Teeth, but yeah. look, understand, I am not saying that the... the we only got about a minute and a half left. The, the difference between... Look, 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 understand something. Yeah. In some respects, many of our intellectuals need to drop out of school. Yes. You, you understand, listen, this is Harold, Harold. If you ask an ordinary American, what do you think of Jackson Pollock? Yeah. He says, what's so special about dripping paint off a yeah, stick? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you ask a college kid what's so special about mm -hmm. Pollock, He'll say, "My professor says." <laughs> yeah, right, right, yeah, it is. From, this is about from dripping, his mouth to dripping, mine. Dripping, dripping yeah. paint off yeah. a stick. Okay. Well, the all right. templates all but, being but, set but by but the rich But when all guys. is said yeah. and done, when uh -huh. all is said and done, uh -huh. like I say, thou shalt not vote for thy jailer, like all the potheads are uh -huh. going to vote for the for Obama, who's uh -huh. going to go right on putting them in jail. Uh -huh. All right. Well, okay. Yeah. Thou shalt yeah. not vote for thy jailer or the jailer of other innocent people. Well, if you if you don't accept that that's that's a, that's a grounding principle. Your pleasure as the perceptions of one of my, New York's leading political and intellectual um, uh, autodidactic uh, sages here, public intellectual Lenny Brenner, always good to talk to you Lenny. All right. Uh, get out there and vote. And, uh, and, and, vote and, and, and vote often. And vote often. Thank you very much for viewing. Tune in. We're coming back again tomorrow. And uh, glad to have been able to have these few moments with uh, lovable Lenny Brenner, uh, the voice of the future, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for viewing. We'll be coming.